you guys i'm gonna take you guys with me um to go pick up my son and then we're going to the grocery store so i have more videos of uh, me driving because apparently you guys seem really interested in watching me drive the scooter also i wanted to show you guys i put in um my little phone holder um you basically put this around your neck and you put your phone on here like if you're being lazy um so you, you can watch something on your cell phone i use it when i wash dishes wash bottles i put my phone on here and watch some netflix um but i i kind of wrapped it around the steering wheel so that i don't have to hold the phone because it makes me nervous technically i only need one hand to drive but i like to hold on with both um so i'm gonna put the phone on here while i'm driving the sidewalks on both sides of this particular neighborhood have a lot of trees and shrubbery that um, block my block the sidewalk and like I said I don't want them to scratch the scooter so for certain blocks like this um, I drive on the street but on the side there isn't a bike lane here but it's like where there would be a bike lane this is a what I stick to like I said I'm limited to places I can actually go with the scooter but I'm fine with it there's my baby <laughs> not really he's 15 so on this area I have to go through a little alley instead of going all the way around I just have to wait for cars Okay, let's see. To make sure there's no cars because sometimes they come out of nowhere. And see, this is the thing with the little tires because it's a mobility scooter. Um, every bump feels huge. So um, you have to go slow on all the little bumps and cracks and everything or else it feels like a ginormous uh, hill you're going on. I just had somebody stop me <laughs> to ask me about the scooter and it just so happened to be somebody that could really benefit from something like this so I was letting him know um, you know what it's called and he was like man I could really use something like this so like I said trying to spread awareness here so I'm glad I found somebody or should I say he found me um, but yeah let's here to the store came with me but he's gonna stay in the scooter so I'm just gonna go to the store by myself um this is where I used to park my old scooter but it's a lot thinner I would park it right here on the curb um see it's close enough to the entrance but not too close so I'm not in anybody's way but um yeah I think people would be freaked out by this bigger mobility scooter so that's why I just park on the side on the um, regular parking spot and there's the entrance so I'm going to post this video on my TikTok, but also I'm going to go ahead and use it for my um, YouTube Acromatopsia group. 
Um, but see, like right now, my son stayed in the scooter because he's talking to his girlfriend. So I'm in the store by myself, which I have no problem with. Um, but it just makes it a little more difficult to find things because I literally have to get up close to every single thing of what I'm looking for and it takes me longer. Whereas when my son comes, he I tell him what I want, he grabs it, and we go, oh yes, thank God. All right. Usually it takes me a little longer than that, but I got lucky. Um, so I have to get about a foot distance in order for me to see the details on what type, like of, you know what I mean, like of what the products are. So um, like I'm picky about my sauce. I only like the traditional. So it took me a little bit to find the traditional. Um, and like I'm gonna get pasta. Sometimes I just grab it and I don't pay attention to, um, I don't like the wheat ones. I just like the regular ones. Um, this is a regular one. Okay. Um, but yeah, see, I can do grocery shopping just fine. Like I said, it just takes a little longer when I'm by myself, but it can be done. So I'm going through the aisles. Yes. Ooh. Like I said, when my son's with me, things go a little faster. And it's easier for me because he does all the heavy lifting. But like I said, I can still do it on my own. Just takes a little bit longer. See like details like this when my husband or my son are with me, they look at like the important stuff. Um, usually when I'm with them, I'm kind of lazy and they do everything, but when I'm by myself, I have to get closer to look at um, the details of the food I'm getting. And I'm done. Just waiting to pay for my stuff. Done with all the groceries. Now just walking to the scooter. Right, I just filled it up. The groceries right there, right there. I have um, some of these drinks on this side. And on that side and if I wanted to put more things down there I could but yeah pretty spacious this is my first time on a bike lane because this little sidewalk that I drove here on um, there's some trees that are growing out of this wall and are scratching the roof so um, don't want to go through that again so now I'm an actual bike lane my first time on one on this street interesting and a little scary because like I said most cars do not respect the bike lane but uh, so far everybody's just staring but yeah <laughs> okay My son emptied out all the groceries, but of course he forgot one thing because it was hidden. But yeah, that is the um, average grocery trip. So um, for all the people curious and wondering how I make it happen, that's how I make it happen. And see right now it's, you can't tell too much, but it's a little cold. It's not too windy. The past couple of days it's been very windy, but you can't even tell in the scooter because it's nice and covered and safe. 